If you currently live in or have considered a move to Livermore, Pleasanton, San Ramon, or Danville, then you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to give you an in-depth look at how the market's doing and some numbers and stats to support that. And just as a quick reminder, I help tons of people both buy and sell homes throughout Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, Danville, and Alamo. So to interview me to help you buy or sell a home, you can reach me by phone, text, or email any time of the day. So as of springtime this year, the market picked up with buyer demand increasing, and we have a historically low inventory number, which is number of homes for sale, which has caused prices to stay elevated and not go down as much as some people were anticipating or hoping for. So let's look at the numbers. This will be specifically for the month of June this year, and specifically for detached single family homes. Starting with Pleasanton, for the month of June, Pleasanton had 42 properties sell. That is down 39% from 69 in June 2022. Average days on market is 13 days, down from 14 in June 2022. Pleasanton currently has 0.8 months of inventory. Homes on average are selling for more than listing price and the median sales price is $1,690,000 with an average sales price of $1.9,000,000. Next is Livermore. For the month of June, Livermore had 69 properties sell. That is down 25% from 92 in June 2022. Average days on market is 10 days, which is even with June 2022. Homes on average are selling for more than the listing price. Livermore currently has 0.5 months of inventory and the median sales price is 1.2 million with an average sales price of 1,350,000. Next is San Ramon. For the month of June, San Ramon had 39 properties sell. That is down 7% from 42 in June 2022. Average days on market is 11, down from 12 in June 2022. Homes on average are selling for more than the listing price. San Ramon currently has 0.4 months of inventory and the median sales price is 1.8 million with an average sales price of 1,890,000. Next is Danville. For the month of June, Danville had 59 properties sell. That is down 11% from 67 in June, 2022. Average days on market is 15 days, down from 19 in June 2022. Homes on average are selling for more than the listing price. Danville currently has one month of inventory, and the median sales price is 2 million, with an average sales price of 2.3 million. So what am I seeing in my personal business, being that I am involved in the market on a day-to-day -day basis? Well. Demand did go up in the springtime of this year. In the mid to late 2022, interest rates shot up as we're all well aware of and the market definitely slowed down quite a bit with prices overall dropping between five and 15% in specific neighborhoods in different cities. Once springtime 2023 came around, it seems as if Buyers who were sitting on the sidelines were waiting to see what was going to happen and realized that prices weren't going down as much as they anticipated or hoped for and re-entered the market because they felt that prices were going to continue to stay steady or even go up. And it seems though that's becoming true as we have historically low inventory levels because so many people refinanced into super low interest rates when rates were really low during COVID. So unless people absolutely have to move for a work relocation or a personal family matter, or they really, really want to move and just don't care, I don't see many people are willing to give up their low interest rate just to purchase a new home at a much higher interest rate. So the low inventory levels is the reason why prices are the way they are, staying pretty level, if not even creeping back up some since that initial dip in 2022. Being that I'm in the market on a day-to-day -day basis, I am seeing a lot more buyer demand. I go to open houses with my clients, they're really busy. I'm taking listings for selling clients. I'm getting a lot of calls from buyer's agents who 
have interested buyers. So demand is there in the real estate market. We just have low inventory and increasing number of demand from people who were sitting on the sidelines last year who have now re-entered the market. It will be interesting to see what happens to the market as we move through the next month or year. I worry though that if rates do come back down to the low sixes or even into the fives that that's going to cause a big drive in buyer demand and personally I didn't really like the COVID market. I know a lot of people did but it just seemed very one-sided and it didn't really seem even. Things have definitely slowed down in the market we're in now compared to the COVID market, although I am seeing on average between one and five offers on almost every single home. So it still is definitely a seller's market, but things have cooled and it's become a little easier for buyers to get into a property, whereas during COVID, when rates were really low, every home and i mean every home was basically getting between 10 and 15 offers it was absolute madness and just to make one thing really clear if you work with me or interview me or you've decided you want to work with me just know i'm only going to give you the facts what i'm currently seeing in the market i will never and i mean never try to convince you to make a decision to buy or sell a home if you're not ready to make that decision if you reach out to me all I will give you is what I am seeing personally in the market and we can have a chat and ultimately it's up to you to decide if you're ready to buy or sell. I'm always ready to help people make that move if they've told me they want to do that. I will never pressure anybody into making such a big decision like this. I think that's one thing my clients really like and value about me, and you can even look at my Google reviews. You'll see several comments on my Google page speaking to the fact that I don't give any pressure and I kind of just give them the facts, answer their questions, and wait for them to make the decision. So I always say, I'm ready when you are, and I will always be here when you've decided to either buy or sell. So that's it. That's what I'm personally seeing in the market today. It's definitely still a seller's market. If you are interested in buying, if you've made that decision for yourself, now's the time, then I would be persistent in seeing homes. I wouldn't wait on the sidelines too much if you've really found a property you like. You should go see it quickly. Make sure you're fully pre-approved. Everything's in line and in order. You have your liquid funds available for your down payment and go buy that house if that's something you wanna do. If you're a seller in this market, demand has picked up since springtime of this year. I would recommend you prep your house really well to make it show its absolute best because you only have one chance to make a first impression from any interested buyers who walk through your property. And I'm telling you with 100% certainty, if you put in the time now, however uncomfortable it might be for your current situation to make your home look really, really good, you will end up netting more money and you'll be happy in the long run. Just get it over with, get it done, sell your house for more, be happy and move on. That's it. If you need anything from me, you can always get to me by phone, text or email any time of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.